In this tutorial, we will be going over some of the very basics that you'll need to know to get started in Microsoft Excel. So we're going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Excel. And this is the interface that you'll be faced with in the very beginning. They're, they give you some options, some, um, some templates to choose from. You can look over these and uh, they have some pretty good ones in here for budgets, calendars, to-do list, all sorts of cool things. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and open up a blank workbook. And let's go over some of the interface real quick. Um, right, right at the top here, we have what is called the Quick Access Toolbar, and this is customizable according to your personal needs and workflow. Right here, we have the tabs, and as you click on them, they open up a ribbon. So there's a different ribbon for each tab. And inside the ribbon, it is divided up into groups. So if you see these little faint lines here, this is what divides it into groups. So you have a group for customizing text, for alignment options, formatting options, and so on. Right here we have the formula bar, and I'll go over this later in detail. Down here we have the ability to add sheets. Right here you have the option to zoom in and out, which I'm going to go ahead and do so that you can see what I am doing a little bit more clearly. This right here, the white area, is our spreadsheet. And it is made up of columns and rows. The columns are represented by the letters of the alphabet. So we have column A, B, C, D, etc. And as you click on the top letter here, it highlights the entire row all the way down. When you have one of these selected, you are selecting the entire row. The same goes, or the same, the entire column. The same goes for the rows. When you select a row, it selects it all the way across. So uh, that's important to keep in mind. Where these rows and columns intersect is what is called a cell. So for instance, right here we have D4. And as you can see, it even gives me the address of the cell right here. This is a cell. If I click over here, it's going to give me G5. And this can be considered the address of a cell, if you, so, if you will. So this is very powerful because this gives each individual cell in your spreadsheet, in your workbook, an address, something that can be pointed to. And you can tell Excel to do exact things with or grab data from. So let's go ahead and enter in some data into our spreadsheet. To enter some data into a cell, all you have to do is click on a cell and start typing. And then hit the enter, or in my case, the return key to enter it. Now you can see it dropped down to the cell below. But say I didn't want that. Say I wanted to go to the right because I wanted to type in to B1. Well, instead of hitting enter, I would hit the tab button and it would move me to the right. To go backwards, I would hit shift tab. Enter to go down, tab to go right. Also, you can use the arrow keys to navigate left, right, up, and down. So let's go ahead and enter in some data here, some meaningful data into our spreadsheet. Let's say I wanted a list of football teams in the American Football Conference. So first of all, we'd need a title. So we will we are have A1 selected, cell A1 selected. So we'll go ahead and enter in a title. And hit enter. Now it looks like our data has spilled over into the next cells, B1 and C1. But in actuality it hasn't. If I go ahead and click on cell A1 and I look take a look in the formula bar, I see the data that is in A1 show up in my formula bar. If I click in B1, I get nothing. Because I entered the data into A1, my data is only in A1. And for C1, again, there's nothing because I only entered it into A1. So don't worry about it looking like it has spilled over. We'll fix that later. But for right now, let's go ahead and enter some more categories into our spreadsheet. So I probably want a name for the football team and then again, I'll hit tab instead of enter to go right because I want some categories and some columns here. Probably need a division, a stadium, and let's do an owner. 
So these, we're going to have the name of the football team, their division, the stadium, and the owner of the football team. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill this data out to save some time. All right, so I have the data filled out. And as you can see, I have the names of the football teams, the Bills, Patriots, Dolphins, Go Patriots, I'm in the Northeast, um, division, stadium, and the owner. Now I do not know if this data is completely accurate. I am not a hardcore football fan, so please don't crucify me if there's something wrong. But uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, let's just say this is accurate. If you notice here, it looks a little bit crowded, especially with the sto stadium and the owner. We kind of lose some data here in the stadium. So let's go ahead and fix that. All we have to do is come up to the column section and where you see column C and D meet, we just need to hover our cursor in between and we get our icon changes to this line with two arrows on the sides. And you click and you drag the column to the right or left to change the width of the column. So we can do that until all our data is visible. And we can do that the same with D, so it's all in column D. Now you can actually see the data here. Now let's go ahead and do something about this title. Let's make it, we want, kind of want it to actually look like a title. So let's center it across our data here. To do that, you'll need to know what a range of cells is. A range of cells is a selection of multiple cells that are next to each other. For example, if I select A1 and click and drag across, I now have a range of cells selected. I have A1 through D1. Now, whatever I do will be done across all these cells at once. So in this case, I want to merge these cells together and center the text. So to do this, I can come up here to under my home tab and I can merge and center. And there you go. My title is now centered across my data and it actually looks like a title now. And what else can we do here to make this data set look more presentable? And by the way, this is called formatting. Formatting is just making your data more presentable and pleasing to the eye, especially useful when you're giving the report to a boss or someone to look at, make it easy for them to read. So let's go over a couple things we can do to this data to make it better looking. Um, we can do, let's see what we can do to the text here. For the title, we probably want to have this bold. Um, we can also italicize it if we want and underline it, but I think bold looks fine. Now for the categories, let's go ahead and select these by holding down and selecting this range of cells, A2 through D2, and italicize them all. And there you go. It looks a lot better from when it previously was all crowded and cramped together. And now you can very distinctly see what it is and have the categories listed out. Now I like the way this looks, so I think I'm gonna call it done. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. This is just the first video in my Excel Basics series, so make sure to check out the rest of the series as well.